Hello friends and family and good morning from Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. Today we're going to have you covered for your trip of 2024. We're going to go through the entire Islands of Adventure, show you guys the best food offerings, attractions, quiet places in case your feet hurt because it is going to be a long day of walking here in a theme park and everything in between including shopping. But before we get started if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear our future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it also did want to mention we're also going to go over a lot of the different tips and tricks which are perfect a lot of the great photo ops that we have here at Universal's Islands of Adventure your park tickets and everything so let's head on in of course your first photo op is going to be taking your picture in front of the light tower here at Universal's Islands of Adventure perfect way to commemorate your trip I always love it especially at nighttime when everything's all lit up Okay, so today I am taking advantage of early park admission with my premier annual pass. You do get a lot of perks, especially with the annual passes here at Universal. When I, when I came in this morning, the prime parking, which lets you park a little bit closer than all the other parking, was $50, and just the regular parking was $30. So keep that in mind. Sometimes it's definitely worth uh, inviting the bullet and getting the annual pass. The parking is free, but you're also going to get lots of different discounts from merchandise all around the Wizarding World, including the parks, resorts, and also dining discounts as well. So it's a really good deal. And with the Premier Annual Pass, the one that we have, you do get Express Pass after 4 p.m. So that's always a great option. Of course, if you are staying on Universal Studios property, you can also take one of the water taxis over here. They're completely free of charge. It brings you right into Universal City, City Walk over by NBC Grill & Brew, a great restaurant here at City Walk. Universal Studios Islands of Adventure is filled with a lot of great thrill rides and this is really cool how they have these oars up so you can kind of see where you are if you can ride the attraction or not from the Incredible Hulk, the Jurassic World Velocicoaster, Doctor Doom's Fearfall, all the way down here to Kong, uh, Skull Island, and then you have the Seuss High in the Sky trolley ride. So definitely take a moment and uh, measure up and see where you stack up with the different attractions here in Islands of Adventure. Today our adventure begins here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. I did also want to talk about the different ticket packages that they have here at Universal Studios. You can purchase a park to park ticket. You can basically go from Universal Studios Florida here to Islands of Adventure as many times throughout the day. Or for a little bit cheaper, you can purchase just like a one park ticket like here for Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios Florida. So definitely keep that in mind. You gotta kind of plan your day out accordingly if you wanna do both parks or just one and save a little bit of money. And another pro tip, they offer Universal Studios Express Pass. It's an upcharge to your regular park ticket, you can purchase Express Pass and ride the rides and skip the majority of the line here at Universal Studios. But I would never do that in advance. Definitely come here first if the parks are really, really busy and the wait times are long. Then I would maybe suggest checking out Universal Express Pass, but don't do it before your vacation. You're also going to be having a very long day in the parks. You're going to want to wear some really comfy footwear. This isn't like a fashion statement here in the parks. Definitely wear something comfy that's not going to hurt your feet all day. My suggestion is a good soft pair of Skechers. Quite possibly one of my favorite photo ops here at Universal's Islands of Adventure and a great spot to get some rest and sit. Rest the old Tootsies is right by the Hulk roller coaster and I'm going to show you why. Like I was saying, we're basically right under the Hulk roller coaster. You get an entire view of the whole lagoon area here at Universal's Islands of Adventure, which is really incredible. And there's also lots of bench seating, so if you're having a long park day and you want to try to escape the crowds a little bit, this area doesn't get very busy at all. And you're going to take in all of the sights and sounds of Universal's Islands of Adventure. 
you could see everything from the Velocicoaster just uh, going down the top hat and then over there you have Hogwarts Castle at the Wizarding World in Hogsmeade, one of the top rated restaurants here at Islands of Adventure with Mythos. And right over here you could basically see a good portion of Seuss Landing with the Seuss High in the Sky trolley ride just coming by right now. That being said, I do want to go land by land. I'm going to start over in Seuss Landing and then go on over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Jurassic Park section, and show you guys all the tips, tricks, the best shopping and food offerings that they have here at Universal's Islands of Adventure, and also the best attractions. One of my favorite restaurants here in all of Islands of Adventures is definitely Confisco's. It's pretty close to the entrance to the park and they have lots of great offerings here. But they do have like the different selection of a mixed drinks and alcoholic beverages menu out front. I do want to show you some of the food offerings that they have at Confisco's. They have chicken quesadilla, they have some loaded nachos, some hummus, some trader wings, so you can get your chicken wings here. They have some chicken lettuce wraps, and they have a great selection of soups and salads. The Southwest chicken salad, very delicious. The French onion soup, and here's some of the assorted entrees from the sweet and sour sticky ribs. They have some chicken curry, so they have a very eclectic menu here at Confisco's. Another great photo op. Literally as soon as you enter Seuss Landing, this is always lit. The huge billboard that says Seuss Landing. Definitely take a moment to get your picture taken right over there. But I do want to show you probably my favorite food offering in all of Seuss Landing. You're going to head on over here to Green Eggs and Ham. They have such a fun little menu, like they have the carnitas, tots, roasted pork, jalapenos, tomato salsa, scallions, lime, and they even have a white cheese sauce on top, $11.99. They have green eggs and ham tots, $10.99, some pizza tots, which are very delicious, all the way down to buffalo chicken tots, and I highly suggest you get those. The tots here at Green Eggs and Ham are always hot and delicious. They're served on this almost like a, a tin foil serving tray. They put them in the oven. They're very crispy. The buffalo chicken is incredible. It's a really nice shareable or an appetizer to one of your dinner offerings here at Islands of Adventure. And again, this is the great thing with early park admission here at the theme parks. There are not too many people out and about. The stores and whatnot aren't congested at all. And of course, during the holiday season, if you are over here in Seuss Landing, you have to take advantage of the free Grinchmas spectacular show here at Islands of Adventure. And also all the hoos that are out and about doing the meet and greets. It's really beautiful. I think we'll actually make a pit stop over here to the Seuss High in the Sky trolley ride. We'll check out the posted wait time. This is comparable to Walt Disney World's People Mover. It is only a five minute wait and you're going to get some of the best views in all of Seuss Landing and here at Islands of Adventure. I think the walk to the front of the line is literally going to be longer than the ride itself. There is nobody in line this morning for the High in the Sky trolley ride. Seuss High in the Sky trolley ride is definitely no means of a thrill ride. However, just like the people mover at Disney's Magic Kingdom, you get some great sights and sounds, and it's incredible at nighttime. But one of the great things about Seuss Landing in this particular ride, it takes you over to the bake shop. 
So here's an entire counter of just literally fudge. They have some specials. Buy four pieces and get two free. They have some mint chocolate swirl. Over here is the salted caramel. And then let's see what else we got doing. These almost reminds me of like Valentine's Day colors. So these must be new here to Seuss Landing. They have cookies and cream, chocolate peanut butter, Rocky Road, and way down here is the raspberry chocolate swirl. But you can purchase some huge oversized cookies. These are $6 each and very delicious. They have the chocolate chip cookies, the cat in the hat cookie, that is $6.50. One of my favorites has to be the snickerdoodle. They have oatmeal raisin. And then way down there is the raspberry white chocolate. Let's head right across the street here to the Mulberry Street store and check out some of the Grinch offerings and items that they have over here. They do have a great selection. I think they do have some Grinchmas merchandise left over. So as soon as you come inside, there's a great selection of merchandise, especially from Grinchmas. They have the uh, Grinch Spirit jerseys. These are $55 a piece, but really thin and very nice quality with your sparkly writing. They do still have some of those Grinch. I think these are the uh, popcorn buckets, and they are. They have the Merry Grinchmas uh, lanyard that comes with them. The popcorn buckets are $27, and then right underneath are the sippers for this year. But you can't go wrong with a good plushie. Look, and I'm wearing a Santa hat and a Merry Grinchmas shirt. The theming in these stores here in the different islands of adventure landings are truly incredible, especially this store for the kiddos. Like, look at all the different happenings, so many sights and sounds. This back wall section, they have some assorted coffee mugs. This one is for Thing 1. It has the sparkly writing. Then the opposite side has that same graphic. These are $19 a piece. And then you can actually purchase the Cat in the Hat's hat. On the inside, it says Universal Studios. And then they also have Thing 2. Some of my favorite tank tops, of course, are the Thing 1 and Thing 2. It has like puffy spirit jersey writing. It says Universal Studios at the bottom. These are $28 a piece, but they do have the same difference here in t-shirt form. The t-shirts are $30 a piece, but these are brand new to uh, Seuss Landing. It says I'm her favorite thing and then I'm his favorite thing. And here's a fun little action, special interaction, especially for the kiddos. You can enter the store through this tiny little door. You can enter right there, like see inside the store and come literally right inside. That is so much fun. And there's even more great themed snacks here in Seuss Landing. You can get the goose juice or the moose juice right over there. These are very, very delicious. It's like a, uh, a different type of slushy, but they're very good. You can purchase those here in Seuss Landing. Towards the exit of Seuss Landing, you'll notice this entire park map that they have. The Lost Continent, it points you in the direction of Jurassic Park, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, even over there, this way that we just came from, the Seuss behind the Sky Trolley ride. The Lost Continent is home to one of the highest rated theme park restaurants in the theme parks here in Central Florida. Let's head over there. And here's the entryway to Mythos Restaurant at Islands of Adventure. You can see the banner awarded World's Best Theme Park Restaurant by Theme Park Insider. If you're looking for a nice quiet sit down restaurant with some fancier dinner offerings, I would definitely check out Mythos. You're literally dining inside of a cave. And how about the water feature here on the side? To the left hand side of Mythos is actually an area that not too many people know about and I highly suggest you check it out. You can get some great views of the theme park, but again, even more bench seating. <laughs> Tucked away in all of the corners, again, you'll notice even more rock work and bench seating that they have right behind Mythos. And like I was saying, not too many people come back here to this section and you get some amazing views, like up close and personal to the Velocicoaster and you could never go wrong with the bridge that they have if you hit it at the right time you can actually hear a troll like how amazing is that there is a troll under the bridge here at Mythos restaurant that being said I think we're gonna head over to my favorite section probably in any theme park the Wizarding World of Harry Potter you have Hogsmeade over in this section and Diagon Alley over in Universal Studios Florida we'll check out everything they have to offer everything you should be doing over there in Hogsmeade on our way to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is one of my favorite quick service restaurants in all of Islands of Adventure definitely check out Fire Eaters Grill they have some outdoor seating I do want to show you a bit of the menu. 
Here's some of the menu at Fire Eaters Grill. They have the chicken fingers. These are $12.49. You can get them with a combo with french fries. Then they have the uh, regular chicken fingers. I like the Stingers version though with the buffalo sauce. Very delicious. They have crispy green salad, chili cheese fries, and check out that hot dog. Some great offerings here. Before you even make your way into the immersive section in all of Islands of Adventure Hogsmeade at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you do have Hogsmeade to London King's Cross Station, so you can actually take the Hogwarts Express from over here at Hogsmeade to over at Diagon Alley at Universal Studios Florida if you do have that park-to-park -park ticket, and you could use your Express Pass here, but right now it is only a 10-minute wait, so if you do want to ride the Hogwarts Express, you do need a park-to-park -park ticket but there are some great photo ops even before you head inside. You have the uh, entranceway to Hogsmeade. And of course you have like the cherry on top of the Harry Potter Sunday. You have the actual Hogwarts Express popping out here of the train station. You can see some of the luggage. And if you hit it at the right time, the conductor is out here doing a meet and greet. The village of Hogsmeade is loaded with a bunch of really incredible snacks, world-class shopping, food, and also attractions. And right up ahead is one of my favorite things that you have to do. You have to get a butterbeer at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. At this particular butterbeer car, you can only get your cold butterbeer and your frozen, but two really amazing offerings. My personal favorite butterbeer, you could actually only purchase it over here at the Hogshead Bar. Pretty accurate to the movies. You could see the signage to the right hand side of three broomsticks, but there's the Hogshead. You could get inside there and purchase your uh, hot butterbeer, which is very delicious. And another cool little photo op, you have the signage. Have you seen this wizard with Sirius Black? Three Broomsticks at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is basically your only sit-down restaurant in the Wizarding World of Hogsmeade. And the great thing, they do also offer breakfast offerings. They have your traditional English breakfast, your porridge breakfast, continental breakfast, American and a pancake breakfast. So they do have a little bit of something for everyone. That being said, I want to head a little bit further in the Wizarding World, check out some of the awesome snacks, merchandise, and also attractions. One of the most iconic stores at the Wizarding world of Harry Potter has to be Honey Dukes. There's some cool little photo ops, some spots here for your interactive wands, but always take a moment to check out the windows. Like this one here has a huge oversized box of Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans. And then over here, check this one out. This is the Eyeball Bonanza. You can see the skeleton there. He actually takes his top hat off and his eyeball rolls down out of his head into this little jar. Look at it, there it goes. There's a bird on top of his head. There goes the eyeball, and here it comes, right down the chute. And as soon as you come inside Honey Dukes, you're greeted by some of the best Wizarding World of Harry Potter candy that you're gonna find, like the exploding bonbons. The packaging on these is truly second to none. Look at that there. Exploding bonbons, it says the real boom. These are $9.95. And then underneath here, they do have some of those huge Honey Dukes uh, lollipops with a nice swirl pattern. You can't go wrong, they say Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And two different artificial sweeteners that you can purchase the uh, love potion check that out pretty uh, accurate to the movie that is $12 and then they do also have liquid luck Felix Felices of course you could even purchase your very own birdie bots every flavored bean these are $13 a piece the packaging is on point like screen accurate and you get a huge amount of beans inside but these are great especially if you have your annual pass because you do get a discount they also have these really cool looking pumpkin juice zippers. It says pumpkin juice and it literally has the pumpkin on top and then the uh, straws on the inside. You do get a complimentary pumpkin juice on the first fill. These are $15 plus tax. And of course, coming to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, an absolute must buy is a chocolate frog. These do come in dark chocolate and milk chocolate now. These do also come with your wizarding card inside. These, you do actually don't know what wizarding cards you're gonna get, which is really cool. So it's kind of like a little shoot at the lottery. These are three for $35. And then one of my favorite snacks at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter has to be the Fizzing Whizbees for the packaging. These are made with chocolate fizzy fruits, it says, but these are absolutely delicious. $11 a piece.
one of the attractions that you absolutely must ride if you're at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade is uh, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Normally the line is quite large, but they do offer lockers to the right-hand side by that photo op of the Hogwarts Express. Let's go take a closer look. Another little pro tip at the Wizarding World, you can actually take the uh, line here to the exit of Hagrid. So if you are meeting anybody who rode the attraction and you're not riding it, and it's very, very quiet in this direction, but you can actually get a nice little viewing area of Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Okay, so right off to the exit here of Hagrid's, you actually have yet another attraction, Forbidden Journey. Such a great one in its own right, but I do want to mention the stage that's right over here. You can actually get some free shows. They have the Tri-Wizard Spirit Rally here, and also the Frog Choir. Check the Universal Studios app for all of the different show times, but you can't go wrong with some free shows at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And speaking of Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, you also have to take advantage of the nighttime show that they do put on here at Hogwarts Castle at dusk time. It's a whole light show. It is truly incredible and you even get some fireworks there. That being said, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is always known for some incredible shopping. And over to the exit of the Forbidden Journey attraction is one of my favorite stores in Hogsmeade, Filch's Emporium. Let's head on over there and check out some Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise. And the wait times are truly incredible this morning. The Forbidden Journey attraction is only a 15 minute wait. Okay, so Filch's Emporium is actually located at the end of the attraction for Forbidden Journey. So if you do ride the ride, you'll come right through the gift shop. But let's head into the exit section. As soon as you come inside, there's some really awesome graphic t-shirts. This one's a women's v-neck with the Hogwarts house crest. You have some embroidered pinstriping. That is really nice and vibrant. And then over here is a unisex version with the Hogwarts house crest. And then next door, they do also have some really nice jewelry offerings that are newer to the Wizarding World of Harry. Harry Potter. They have all four um, houses here. They have Gryffindors, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. You actually get three different sets of earrings, $30 a piece. That is a pretty good deal there. And then right up ahead are some dangly earrings. It looks like they do actually have all four houses in them as well. Some more brand new merchandise here to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is this pullover hoodie. It shows you all the different spells that you can cast from Lumos to Nox to Stupefy and Expecto Patronum. Those are $70 a piece. And then right up ahead is a brand new smaller size backpack. This is comparable to your Loungefly ones with all the different spells. Again, Stupefy, Lumos, Alohomora. It has a nice compartments here on the side as well. Let's see what we got doing with the price of Rooney. These are are $85 a piece. Even if you're looking for some higher end collectibles, you can purchase a lot of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Noble Collection items like Professor, Professor Slughorn's Hourglass, $160. You have Dumbledore's Cup, $120 for that. But these are very, very nice. You have Helga Hufflepuff's Cup, the uh, Sorcerer's Stone, which does come encapsulated in that glass case with the wooden base for $100. And even right up ahead, you can purchase the Sword of Gryffindor, which does come mounted on this huge plaque and it says Godric Gryffindor. There's even a great selection of assorted keychains. Like, look at this one here. You have Hermione Granger's Time Turner, and the thing moves very fluidly. It has a Wizarding World of Harry Potter tag. That is $15. And then right over here, to go with your Chocolate Frog, you definitely have to purchase this keychain. It says Chocolate Frog. It does come with a little gibbet of the frog as well. That actually smells like chocolate. These are $13. You could even purchase a good assortment of brand new pullover sweatshirts that are brand new here to the Wizarding World the Harry Potter. This is the Gryffindor version. It's all embroidered. You have the house crest, and I do like the embroidered pinstriping. These are $70 a piece, but they have Gryffindor. Right next door is your Slytherin. Then, of course, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff on the bottom. 
But you definitely have to check out the Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes. Of course, they do have all four houses. These are $139 a piece, but the hood is accurate to the movie. The colors, the Gryffindor version is right here. It's embroidered with a Gryffindor house crest. It has this little button that does seal it, but on the inside, you have a wand pocket, so if you purchase a wand, or especially an interactive wand, you can keep it in there for safekeeping, so you don't have to carry it throughout the theme parks. Right next door here is your uh, Slytherin version with the nice green color, the embroidered house crest. Let's see what else we got doing. We have the Ravenclaw with the royal blue color, the uh, Ravenclaw house crest, and then right over here is the Hufflepuff. It is important to know you can also get your different items here embroidered like your backpacks and also your house robes and they do have all four houses in the backpacks. Very nice quality. It's almost like a nice khaki or denim material. It's embroidered there. Ravenclaw. Like this one here is embroidered to Luna Lovegood. But these backpacks are $49.95. Of course that does not include the embroidery but very nice quality and attention to detail. Another pro tip, if you do come over here to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, ask some of the staff members as soon as you go inside if you can take a tour of the castle. They will give you a guided tour and they actually have Wizarding World of Harry Potter props that were used in the movie. Like how incredible is that? Perfect for any Harry Potter fan. As we're making the walk over here on the bridge from Hogsmeade over to Jurassic Park, another awesome photo op. You get an obstructed, an unobstructed view here of Hogwarts Castle, and this is perfect, especially at nighttime. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park Velocicoaster is currently only a 35 minute wait today, so a pretty low wait. I would definitely say the Velocicoaster is one of those attractions that you absolutely must ride here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. It is perfect for any thrill seeker. And no trip to the Jurassic World section or Jurassic Park section is complete without checking out the Jurassic Park Discovery Center and the Velocicoaster store. And as soon as you come inside, there's this awesome photo op here with the Velociraptor. Then underneath there, they do have some 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park merchandise. And it's actually on sale. This tie-dye pattern t-shirt with uh, the T-Rex is originally $40, $27.99. And they do have the Jurassic Park spirit jerseys as well with that same design there on the front. And then the back side has Jurassic Park 30th anniversary with the T-Rex right underneath. But if the kiddos are tired out a little bit, there's this entire little play area for them to come out and just check out all of the different dinosaurs and whatnot and some really cool photo ops inside. You can't go wrong and it's a good way to get out of the Florida heat and sunshine and just come inside the cool air conditioning. And while you're over here, why not take advantage of the nursery section that they also have inside. Normally when you come in, you can actually notice like the different eggs. They'll have like dinosaur eggs. It says how to operate the pre-emergent uh, nursery scanner. So you do have the normal egg in there where you can't touch it and move it around. It looks like they do have some of the different dinosaur eggs on display where they're incubating. And it's really neat because they will come out and like put on a whole show outside of here. And here is some of that Velocicoaster merchandise. It says must go faster. Let's see what we got doing. These are $27 a piece. And then right up ahead they do have a cool uh, coffee mug. Look at that there with all of the Raptors of Velocicoaster. 70 mile per hour boost it says Universal Orlando Resort. These coffee mugs are a nice oversized. Uh, size. Those are $17. Over here is the adult baseball caps for uh, the Velocicoaster. Looks like it's torn up right there on the side. A nice patch there and it says Universal Orlando Resort. These are $26. Then underneath is a cool pattern of an adult size t-shirt. These are really soft. 
walking around Jurassic Park, you will encounter a great amount of really incredible photo ops, like this one here with the Jurassic Park 23 Jeep. It has all of the elements just like the movie, the Jurassic Park logo. I love the rims, and check out the dinosaur that they have peeking out of the bamboo. Of course, if you are a fan of Jurassic Park or dinosaurs just in general, take advantage of the raptor encounter. Like, you can meet Blue here. It is really cool. It does look like it opens today at 10 a.m., but you can check the Universal Studios app for showtimes. Such a great little photo op. The dinosaur encounter does get a little bit scary if you do have one of the adult raptors, so keep that in mind if you have kiddos. One of the other attractions that you absolutely must ride here in Jurassic Park is the Jurassic Park River Adventure. They are doing some set enhancements right now. That being said, when it's summertime, you're definitely going to want to cool off and this is one of the best ways to do it. Definitely keep that in mind though. A little pro tip, if you are coming during the winter months, Universal Studios always tends to do some of the routine maintenance on some of their water attractions like Popeye and Bluto's Jurassic Park River Adventure, just like it's closed today. You can even view some of the set enhancements in progress right now. You can notice all the scaffolding up there on the rock work. That's actually where the big drop is on the Jurassic Park River Adventure. And I did want to point out normally there's no work wall here, of course. This is a great area to get misted from the attraction if it is really hot in the summertime. And also there's a, quite a bit of seating back there. There's some kids attractions over here as well in Jurassic Park. They have the pterodon flyers. So you do actually have to be a child and be accompanied by an adult. So if an adult wants to ride this attraction, you have to be accompanied by a child, which is really cool though. You can see like, it's almost like a zip lining adventure where you come through the uh, trees on this huge line. And they also have Camp Jurassic here, which is perfect for the kiddos. It's very interactive, lots of different water features like water guns and like foot prints of dinosaurs. Oh, here it is right now. Here comes one of the pterodon flyers coming. How fun does this look? And yet, of course, another one of those awesome photo ops that they have here at Jurassic Park. As I'm making my way to Toon Lagoon, it's one of my favorite attractions at Islands of Adventure. Skull Island Reign of Kong, a cool photo op at the front entryway here with all of the skulls. But check out King Kong, he looks incredible. That is only a 10 minute wait today. This is a nice 3D ride, so when you go inside through the queue, they will give you 3D glasses. And on a beautiful day, the ride vehicle actually comes outside here, and the doors open up, and you go inside the attraction. If it is winter time, the place that you want to spend some time in is over here at Toon Lagoon. They feature two awesome water attractions. You are sure to get soaked but have a lot of fun. And right outside Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls, they do have the Toon Lagoon logo where you could do a nice little photo op with the family, but also a little sprinkly fountain right underneath, which is cool for the kiddos if they're not quite ready to get soaked on the rides. Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls does have quite the drop, and you can see the jets at the bottom where you are sure to get soaked on this attraction. That being said, if it is summertime, take advantage. If you also want to have a little bit of paid fun with the family, you can purchase some credits where you can operate these little sprinklers. Look at that though. You can put your uh, debit card in right there and you push the button and it actually comes out the jets. So you can sprinkle some of the park guests as they're getting through the attraction. I definitely want to give you a little pro tip though. If you are looking to operate the water guns, Let's head on over towards Popeye and Bluto's Bill Draft Barges. I must say, I'm absolutely shocked that Popeye and Bluto's Bill Draft Barges is like, it's freezing outside today and it's actually people riding it. It is currently a 10 minute wait. You will get absolutely soaked on this attraction as well. It is one of your classic like log attractions with the uh, floon. Let's check this out. I want to show you guys because you can get soaked on this ride. 
This ride does also feature those pay water cannons, so if you do want to sprinkle the um, people that are riding this attraction before they even get wet, you can do this right over here. And then up ahead are the paid lockers. If you have anything you don't want to get wet, I definitely suggest you use those. Another great quick service offering is Wimpy's Restaurant that's located over here right across from Popeye and Bluto's Build Draft Barges. This restaurant isn't always open, but you can get a great bite to eat. If you are looking for a free family activity though, you don't want to pay to work those water cannons, I definitely suggest that you come over here and check out Me Ship the Olive. Really fun little section. You have some slides up there for the kiddos, and they do have some free water cannons up front here that I want to show you. And right up top of Me Ship the Olive is those free water cannons, like I was saying. You simply just push the red button and you wait for the uh, park guests to come on on their ride vehicle. I love this though. It is completely complimentary and it's really neat because they don't always expect that you're spraying them, which is really fun. But check out this, like you get absolutely soaked. It's not the entire vehicle, but you get wet if that water hits you. And you get some amazing views on top of Me Ship the Olive. Like right over there is the Incredible Hulk roller coaster, and you can see Doctor Doom's Fearfall. Popeye and Bluto's Bill Draft Barges section is another one of those great spots where you can get some incredible viewing of Velocicoaster, the Hulk roller coaster, and an entire section of the park, basically where you're gonna have it to yourself. There's gonna be nobody, nobody around, and there's a ton of seating. Seriously, guys, look at this section. Again, I have this basically to myself. Like, if you wanna come over here, just grab a seat and check out some of the awesome views that they have in this entire lagoon area. And don't forget to take advantage of some of the awesome restaurants and shopping here in Toon Lagoon. You have Blondie's, the home of the Dagwood, and lots of different shopping and ice creams, like Kathy's Ice Cream Parlor. But check out some of the merchandise that they have here in Toon Lagoon. So as soon as you come inside, they do have some Minions merchandise, like this really cool plastic cup with Bob. You have the Unicorn and some other Minions. These are only $10 a piece. That is a nice little take home. And they do have these smaller size backpacks, again with the Minions and Bob. It says Booyah. And you have this nice little fuzzy gibbet here on the side. These are $65 each, and you can't go wrong with a good Minions plushie here at Universal Studios. Looks like they even have some of your Spongebob merchandise as well. Here's a Nickelodeon lounge fly. You actually have like Spongebob's arms and legs that actually move on this backpack and a very nice simulated leather. These are $82 a piece. Let's see what else we have doing here on the opposite side of the rack. Okay, so they have a huge Spongebob plushie. You can see him there with his dangly legs. Everything is embroidered. These are $45 a piece. And then tucked away in this back section, they do have an, a ginormous selection of just Universal Studios branded merchandise. Like look at this one here. This t-shirt is a ringer tee with all the original classic attractions from Jaws to Earthquake, E.T. and Back to the Future. That is $33. And then right next door is a women's crop top t-shirt with the stripe design, the retro Universal Studios logo. Let's see here. These guys are $33 and they do have like the matching cinch backpack. These are perfect for the parks with the embroidered Universal Studios logo and all the different colors for $28. This store is absolutely massive though. They have an entire section also dedicated to E.T. where they have some E.T. Valentine's Day plushies. These are $24.95. He's holding a huge heart that says E.T. That is adorable. And check out the E.T. plushie just like on the attraction where he's in his little basket. I love that. It's actually embroidered E.T. the extraterrestrial $35 and you can never go wrong with a good E.T. t-shirt. Let's see what we got doing here with the price. $27 for that and it looks like they even have an E.T. lounge fly backpack here. Tucked away in the back corner, they also have a lot of Betty Boop merchandise. Like look at this women's t-shirt. These are really soft. It says girl boss. 
let's see what we got doing in terms of the price. $37 for that graphic t-shirt. This one here says classy and sassy, a very nice tank top. These are $37, but they have some brand new drinkware. Again, with that girl boss design, it has this clear lid with Betty Boop. $20 a piece for them. And then right underneath are the huge oversized coffee mugs. It says, you go girl, girl boss, work it. That's really cool, classy and sassy, $15 only. Then last but not least, let's head inside of Marvel's Superhero Island. They have three world-class attractions. The Amazing Adventure of Spider-Man, Doctor Doom's Fearfall, and the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. But also some really awesome meet and greets that they always have here. And some really good shopping. Important to note though, they also have vacation information and guest services located here. So if you do want to purchase your Universal Studios Express Pass, you can also purchase this right up here at the counter. Like I was saying, they do have some uh, meet and greets peppered throughout. You can get your picture taken with Captain America right in front of the huge graphic of Captain America here at Marvel Superhero Island. But I do want to point out the diner, which is located right next door to that meet and greet, where you can dine with a lot of the characters. This is like your Captain America diner. Here's some of the uh, food that you can get, like the, let's see, your all-American burgers, chicken sandwiches, chicken tenders, chicken salad. You have shakes, fries, onion rings, and more. You can sc scan the QR code right there if you want to check out the menu at the Captain America Diner. If you're looking for a more thrilling ride, definitely check out Dr. Doom's Fearfall. Today it's a 30 minute wait where you get blasted up into outer space and get dropped back down. Okay, let's head right across the way and check out some of the merchandise that they do have over here at the Marvel store. Okay, as soon as you come inside, you're greeted by a lot of Captain America merchandise. Like this backpack here is very cool from uh, Universal Studios. Let's see what we got doing here on the back side. It does come with the simulated leather wings. That is $82. And then there's a nice graphic t-shirt with the stars on the sleeves with a nice big graphic of Captain America's shield. $37 for that. And here's a ginormous tumbler. It comes with a little silicone ring, the metal Captain America shield with the clear lid. These are $29. Here's some really fun t-shirts, especially for mom and dad. This tank top is awesome. It says Super Dad. There's actually no two t-shirts alike this says, so garments may vary. That is, let's see here, $33. Then right underneath, they also have the matching pullover hoodies. This is a very soft, thin material, again, with the Super Dad. These are $65. Right next door is the Super Mom, so a little bit different of a colorway with the blue color. But I love these tank tops, especially with Captain America Shield. Very nice attention to detail. Then they also have some uh, drinkware here as well. Like these are a pretty heavy metal one. Again with the Super Mom for $27. You can even purchase some higher end collectibles like these statues that they have of the Scarlet Witch. That one is $555. And then over here for $535 they have a huge statue of the Black Panther. The attention to detail of those is really incredible. And then right over here is yet another cool cup that they have. Just like the Captain America one. This one's $29 of Spider-Man. They even have a great assortment of different plushies. They have the Marvel Avengers, they have Doctor Strange for $17. Right underneath also for $17 they have Wolverine. They also have Incredible Hulk. Perfect to uh, commemorate your ride over there on the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. They have Deadpool, Thor, Thanos, lots of different characters. You can even purchase some of your comic book series, uh, comic books here from Marvel Comics. They have Silver Surfer Rebirth. These are $3.99 a piece. The new Fantastic Four, the Incredible Hulk, Wolverine, Moon Knight, and then Doctor Strange. The theming inside of this store though is truly incredible. Lots of neat little photo ops that they have like right up there. A huge graphic of Iron Man. And then in this back section you also have Thor. It looks like he's getting ready to throw his hammer. 
Here's even a few different spirit jerseys. These are on sale for $35. This is a lightweight, thin material. It says Marvel Amazing. And then you have Spider-Man on the sleeves. You can't go wrong for $35. This one here says Marvel Legendary. And two different offerings at the bottom. One is for the Incredible Hulk. Very nice colors there with the uh, green and the purple. And then this one here says Invincible on the backside. For $19 a piece, they also have these 3D effect coffee mugs. These are a great oversized one with the handle. This one is Iron Man. You have a nice graphic on the opposite side. But they do also have Spider-Man. Looks like he's getting ready to jump out of the coffee mug. And then right underneath is Hulk. had such a fun time today hanging out here at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. There is so much to see and do, so much delicious food to eat, lots of pro tips, and also some world-class attractions at Universal Studios. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. The link to that is in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.